Suspension bridge, nearly done. This is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are up at Elk Falls Provincial Park, right on the suspension bridge. It still has some finishing touches that it needs, like the fencing that's going to go on the inside here. And coming up in today's show, we're going to have an interview with Lori Buza, and I get to walk back across the bridge to go get him, and then we're going to walk back across over here to this side. I just get to go back and forth all day long now. And we're also going to talk to Tice Poole, who's uh, the superintendent in charge of the entire build. Now, some of the fencing and some of the um, handrails that they've put up on the stairs is all wood. Unbelievably gorgeous. We're going to get some close-ups of that later. So beautiful. And I love the fact that it's cedar. It smells so nice. So coming up in today's show, a little bit of everything, but first, this. Wow, wow, wow. And that's I love this view over here. I yeah. mean, the falls are, there's no words. But this is just so gorgeous to see the, the ravine. The sheer canyon wall. It's yeah. oh, impressive. So beautiful. All right, so Lori, let's go all the way across. Now we're going to talk as we go. So here we are. We're crossing the bridge. In the middle of the canyon. How excited are you? Uh, very. And the club's excited. Everybody wants to know when can I come up, when can I see it. <laughs> but we have to wait until all the safety features are, are in place. Right. So like we're hanging on to these. So there's the big one, and then there's this one and this one for the guide ropes. Now the fencing is going to go on the inside, right? Yes. OK. And it's a five foot fence. OK. And then the handrails are going to be mounted on the aluminum here. Oh, okay, so, so on these guys. Okay, hand inside. Oh, good. Okay. Cool. Now, have you got an opening planned? You don't have to tell us the date because I know that's still it, under wraps, but. We're going to do May. May sometime of this in year. May. Okay. Good. That sounds great. So we hope to finalize that in the next week or so. Yeah. Awesome. And this is just new in the last few days, the decking here on the north side. So where Gord is standing, they've just flown that in, I understand. Uh, two days ago. And it's all fully mounted and all right, bolted on, together. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, look so at this. So from this side, you're going to have a spillway view when it's oh, flowing. Oh, wow. So when they drop three, 400 cubic meters a second, this is probably about four. Uh, this will be just amazing to watch. Unbelievable. And the last time I've when they did 300. I've never seen this side before. It was up to the bullards over there. Yeah. That's when they did 300 cubic meters a second. Wow. So that fills up. So that's going to be a phenomenal view. This is gorgeous. I'm ne having never seen this side before, it's just so, it really takes your breath away. Oh, totally. And then we're going to do benches here. Yesterday when I was here, it was sunny. So you sit on the bench and just... And just sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and relax. I mean, it's just stunning. And then when you look back and you see that, it's just... Oh, my God! How Near cool completion. is that? Oh, Lori. And the you're... viewing platform is hidden behind the tree. So are you the only one from the Rotary Club that's been up here to see this? No. Who else has been up? Uh, How many? There's a few. Probably about four. Okay, out, out of the whole club? Yes. <gasps> because it's a it's construction zone and we have to contain it to the people that are involved in the project. Wow, when they come... But there's <laughs> lots of people that want to. <laughs> I'm sure. But when they finally get to come and see all of those years of hard work that you guys have put in to the design and the working with the parks and hydro, they are going to be blown away. Well, they've seen lots of pictures, and uh, they're blown away by the pictures. And, oh, and I, I created can't believe a... that pictures would do any of this justice. Well, it doesn't, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but when I tell them, you know, what I've been up here and did this, and this is here, and I show them some pictures, they're just like, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a sh we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back.
I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are on location at Elk Falls, right on the north side viewing platform, and the suspension bridge is there. I now have something to show. It's so cool. This viewing platform is nice and spacious, and there's going to be benches here for people to sit, and then you have this unbelievable view of the top of where the water comes from the dam, I guess. And then it goes down into the Campbell River. How beautiful is that? So when they let water go from the dam, it just rushes through here. Sometimes I guess it goes all the way high to where the fence posts are on the other side. So we'll have to find out when BC Hydro is gonna do their next let go and we can be here to watch that now that we have something to stand on to watch it. Unbelievable. All right, so we're going to have this story right now, but we are going to be right back with some more interviews. Go Island is on location at the Elk Falls Suspension Bridge, and joining me once again, Lori Buza with the Campbell River Rotary Club. Now, Lori, you guys have been working on this. How many years has this project been yeah, it's in? It's about five and a half so far. Five and a half, okay. This is spectacular there's really i'm running out of adjectives to even describe what i'm seeing in every single direction now what is there seems to be a clearing over there so what's yes. that over there that that's the clearing where the barrier free viewing platform is established on the top and you look down and they can from see. the trail yes okay and okay. that's accessible to uh Everybody. Everybody. Okay. And uh, it's going to have a park bench there and a quite a large area for view. Oh, good. And they okay. see the uh, half, top half of the waterfall, and then all the way up to the okay. to the corner. Oh, great! It's a phenomenal view. And then, like over there, at the other end of the bridge, we've got the stairs going down. Now they're going down to what's going to be the antelevered plat. Cantelevered. Cantelevered. Viewing platform. viewing platform and so that's going to be it's kind of hidden by that tree though right Correct. there right okay but that's going to come out how far uh it's going to be 10 feet in the air and it's going to be 12 feet past the front footing because there's a, a rock fracture that we got to stay away from okay so it's going to be within a couple of feet of the cliff edge okay. and you'll be able to look down at the full waterfall wow. and the and the bit of the camel river at the bottom of the canyon nice and it's a it's a almost as good a view as the as the bridge, but the waterfall <laughs> is right there in front of you. It Fantastic. Will be terrific. All right, well, we are going to catch up with you again probably the end of April, just before opening. Um, so until then, I guess you're going to be keep cracking that whip. <laughs> Gotta do that. <laughs> Gotta do that. It's just so exciting. All right, well, we're going to have a look at the story, but we'll be right back. Those stairs are absolutely magnificent. I love the woodwork. And joining me now is the man responsible for this gorgeous craftsmanship, Tice Pool. Hello. You obviously like working with wood. I thought you were just all about steel and oh, aluminum. No, no, no. <laughs> I am a carpenter, so once in a while it's nice to actually work with wood. Because <laughs> some of the joints are just fantastically done. Like, Thank you very much. Uh, amazing. Now, this wasn't the original plan to use so much wood. No, originally we were going to use one less 2x6 and put chain link behind it to totally enclose it, which would have been really tough to do. All right. And to make it look nice. So. And so you guys have come up with this plan. There's what, three, well. Four 2x6s and the 2x8 on the top. On the top. Beautiful. To keep little kids from climbing through. So. <laughs> So nobody can get through. No. And it's completely, I love the decking all the way down. It was such a joy to come down the finished stairs. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? And not have to <laughs> climb down that hillside. Climb down the muddy hill, no. It's and slide halfway it down, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Now that is just amazing. So is this your favorite part? Yeah, the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, all the finishing stuff is nice to actually see it. It's starting to look like something and look good and so you can see the finished product finally. Now, what's left to do out on the bridge? The bridge is pretty well done. All that's left is our uh, fencing contractor has to come in and put the chain link fence on the sides to totally encase it so that nobody falls off of it. And the guys are just putting the sway cables on on the, this side, and then the bridge is done. Cool. Now, when they the fellow that's going to come and put the chain link on there, is yeah. he afraid of heights? 
No, nope, he's pretty comfortable out there. It goes on the inside, so he's... Oh, good. He so he doesn't have to climb on the... Okay, no. so it just goes right up the inside. And there'll be a handrail too, right? Yeah, there's a handrail. We've got it all ready to go. It's just, we got to wait for the chain link to go on first. Okay. Now, how much longer do you think it'll take you to finish this beautiful wood craftsmanship all the way down to the cantilevered platform that will be at the end there? If it was just me and a helper, it would probably be a week and a half. But there's going to be all four of us working on it here soon, so... Okay. Probably a week at the most. Okay. It's slow going, tedious, but... But it's the fun stuff. But it's the fun stuff, yeah. Yeah, because it's beautiful. And you got to make it look it's... nice because everybody's yeah. going to see it. So. Yes. Awesome. Definitely. Now, is there, um, there's no more aluminum work to be done? There is, actually. That, oh, is there? The stairway okay. that goes to nowhere, there's another platform down there okay. still that gets built out. It's basically flush with the edge of the cliff, so you'll be able right. to stand right at the edge of the cliff and look down. Amazing. So that's being built in our shop right now, and it's, I'm told it'll be up here next week. Okay. So we'll and do they have to how, do they have to fly it in? No. With the helicopter? We're just gonna hand bomb it all down like the rest of it. Really? Yeah. How it's heavy all is it? I think the heaviest pieces are a couple hundred pounds. Wow. Okay. So it's not the funnest part of the day, but. All right. So this is probably gonna be our last interview. It is. Well, congratulations thank on you an very amazing much. project, and thank you for always making time for us because oh, that's no been problem. very appreciated. My and I know our viewers have really loved having the inside scoop on what was going on. Yeah, so for sure. It's, it's people really from good. coming up and seeing it on their own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, which is a bit of a danger. True enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Tyson. Oh, no problem. Very thank you. Congratulations again. Enjoy the bridge. We will, and we're going to have a look at the story, but we'll be right back. Go Island is on location today at the Elk Falls suspension bridge that is nearly complete. This has been a massive undertaking by the Campbell River Rotary Club in partnership with BC Hydro and BC Parks, as well as Strathcona District and the city of Campbell River. This is going to be unbelievable when it's finished. I can't wait to see it done, done, done. But it's so great that we can see, start to see what it's going to look like. The bridge, the platforms, the north, the south, the lower one, it's going to be unbelievable. So we will keep you apprised as to when it will be open to the public sometime in May, not sure when, but we will let you know for sure. Now, coming up, this. Do not enter bridge under construction, but not for long. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are here at Elk Falls where the bridge is nearly finished. It is very soon going to be open to the public, and I mean by soon, sometime in the next two months. It was a year, so we're getting there. We are getting close. Unbelievable. Right from the engineering, remember drilling into the rock, the 22 feet into the rock to put the anchors in, all the way to putting out piece by piece by piece across and now the beautiful finishing that's taking place here with all this wood, gorgeous. It's going to be amazing. And right now we're gonna take a short break, but we'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, you have been watching Go Island and we have been here at Elk Falls Provincial Park here at the suspension bridge, which is nearly finished. About another six to seven weeks. I'm not gonna put a date on it because there's still a lot of finishing touches they have to do and it's very intricate work. The big heavy lifting is almost finished, but now they're getting down to the nuts and bolts. <laughs> this is really gonna be spectacular. This is gonna be an amazing tourism draw for Campbell River, no doubt. People from all over the world are gonna wanna come here and see this and witness the views that are available. Once you go across the bridge to the other side, on either side, doesn't matter where you look, there's something amazing to see. Thank you so much for watching today's show. Have a wonderful couple of days and we'll see you soon.